Hey guys, Thomas the Silly Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review War for the Planet of the Apes. Now this is an interesting movie, not only is it a trilogy, but it's also a trilogy of a reboot for the Planet of the Apes series. Uh, so, uh, I actually did like the more recent reboot of Planet of the Apes, uh, the first two of course, and it all led up to this, War for the Planet of the Apes. So I was actually quite intrigued to see the next step, the next evolution of Caesar and all the characters that we have known in these uh, movies. So we start this movie with some uh, narrate or oh, writing of the, and it's a pretty brief exploration of the other two movies, including this one. Uh, then we see this army heading into the jungle, and there is a monkey that we alert, later learn his name is Donkey, and he's with the humans. Uh, so they get a clear shot on one of the apes, who's I believe by himself, and then they start charging in, and the apes come in on horses, and they have all these spears, and they are, they are able to drive the humans back. Uh, Caesar then steps forth, and they capture some of the humans, and uh, they eventually decide to send the humans away to show that they have compassion. And uh, so, these two younger apes that return to their encampment say that there's a new location for them to go that they where they won't be bothered. It's deep in the desert. It's like this little place where they can go where the humans won't go that far because they would have to go through the desert and they wouldn't want to do that. But Caesar then suspects later on that something is kind of wrong here. Uh, we see more soldiers coming in and they are taken out. But then we see one of the human uh, guys, well, I'll just call him the leader or the general, I believe he's called in this movie. Uh, he comes in and he kills uh, Caesar's son and his wife. So he's left in a rage, and Caesar goes after him, but he's cut down when the guy go when the leader guy goes back up. So uh, Caesar, as he's uh, getting ready the next day with his uh, crew of apes, uh, he decides that he's gonna go after this human leader and have the, all the other apes go but three other apes join him as they don't want to leave caesar to do this alone and the mission now becomes to take this human out now of course the orange ape which we've seen in the other previous movies they uh enter this encampment this little place where there's this one human uh and then they take him out, and then they see that there's this young girl left behind who can't speak. And according to the movie, this is because of this virus that we later... That was established in the previous movies and has continued to apparently develop in this movie, get bigger and stronger and uh, all that stuff. So the orange ape, who I'll just call Orin for short, uh, takes the girl with them. Um, and they scope out this other area to see this uh, other ape that was with the humans named Winter. So, anyways, when they go in the, this encampment, they end up killing uh, Winter, this uh, ape. And we see visions of Koba, I believe that was his name, uh, the one in the previous movie, the one that betrayed Caesar in the sequel of the reboot. Uh, so he's seeing visions of that, and now we see these, uh, soldiers are leaving, and they follow, they follow him, the monkey, the ape, sorry, follow behind, um, so they ride on horseback, and, uh, they chase on, and eventually one of, when they're scoping out something, one of their horses gets robbed, uh, and we find out that this is another, it's actually another ape. Uh, I believe he refers to himself as Bad Ape, but I'll just call him Robber Ape or something along those lines. 
Uh, he's, he eventually starts to become the comic relief, I suppose, of the movie as he sort of... His reactions to everything that's going on is a little bit uh, silly and whatnot. Anyways, uh, one of the apes, I believe his name was Luca, was en ended up being ambushed and then killed. So Caesar is even more angry. He wants to go out on his own. He wants that revenge even more, more and more. Uh, and then as he goes off on himself, he's captured by one of the humans. I, I think it was ended up being the leader, actually. So he's ended up putting in the cell. He sees that all the other apes are there, and they are being put to work to build something. I'm never, I wasn't really ever sure what they were trying to build. But they were building something, anyways. Uh, so Caesar makes them stop, and then he ends up being tortured instead. And one of the other apes sees that he's about to get shot, so he goes. So she continues working, and then all the other apes continue working, and then they just sort of leave them be. So the Colonel guy, we learn more about him, and. Uh, he, and he talks about how the virus mutated and stuff like that. Uh, he talks about how his son ended up having the virus and how he had to kill his son so the virus wouldn't spread. And that is why he's doing what he's doing. He wants to ensure the uh, survival of the human race while, <clears throat> while also being very aggressive in that stance. But, there is another component to that part, but I'll get to that in a bit. Actually, I'll save it for the end of the review. So anyways, uh... While it's late, and, you know, the, he the apes have been there for a bit, Caesar's, like, pinned up now, and, uh, they're starting to... This, uh, apes outside that are trying to go in for the rescue, including Oren and one of the others, and the girl uh, that they picked up, who's slowly throughout the movie learning their language. Uh, she walks in, she feeds Caesar uh, food and gives him a drink of water, uh, and one of the other rescuer apes that are outside comes in so that the girl can get out uh, out of sight uh, so we learn we see that the girl gets accepted as being an ape by Orin later on in the movie and bad ape or the comic relief uh, ape has his little moment with Orin and I think that was probably the moment where I heard the most laughter in the theater uh, Anyways, they trick this other human uh, inside the cage, and they pull him down, and they get his key. They get the kids out, the uh, kid apes out. Uh, so Caesar can't, he says he can't escape his hate, so he's going to go after uh, the human leader by himself. And we see that these other humans, I don't recall why they were coming in, but they are coming in to attack uh, these human, the other group of humans, the one that was led by the uh, leader guy, and all these other humans that were coming in, they're all dressed in white. So anyways, we see that when uh, Caesar, sorry, gets to go get his revenge, the leader, human, the human leader actually becomes infected. Uh, he grabs his own gun and kills himself. So... Uh, Caesar uh, is shot down while he's trying to escape, and then he gets help from Donkey, who, as I previ previously mentioned, was always on the human side up until that point, and then he is killed by one of the very humans that was with him. Uh, then uh, Caesar throws a grenade and it hits, I believe, what was a nuke, and then the entire facility blows up. Caesar manages to get out through the, the little tunnel that they had made. Uh, so he plows out on the other side, and the humans are starting to run, as, uh, I believe the explosion was what caused the avalanche, this avalanche that comes down, it wipes out all the humans that were running, uh, the apes climb up the trees, 
and they are all able to uh, manage to escape that area. So we see them, we see like a little jump cut later, where they're finally in the desert, and the little girl is with them, and then they go in, and then that's the end of the movie. So, as I mentioned before, I was going to save this for the end. The human girl who lost her language, of course we knew we could figure that she had the virus, uh, she sort of serves as the sort of answer to the uh, leader guy's question or his sort of stance of like, oh, the human, there is no cure, but it doesn't seem, the virus, this whole virus thing doesn't seem as bad as it looks. It does take away human, la it does appear to take away human language. Uh, the girl, as I mentioned, was learning to do the sign language that the, uh, the apes were using. So she was adjusting pretty well, all things considered. Uh, but it did seem like earlier, at least in the first movie, like the virus was actually way worse, where it actually killed a human. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it is a bit tricky uh, which one, like, did the adapted virus... Did it actually make things better for humans? I'm not sure. Um, so that is one question that I did have uh, because we did see this human girl survive it. So I, I would assume that the virus is actually calmed down, if that makes any sense. Uh, so the human leader, uh, you know, he had he didn't believe that he didn't stand a chance as. Uh, not being able to talk, essentially, so that's what drove him to kill himself. Uh, other than that, this is a pretty solid movie within this trilogy, and I assume that maybe even this will continue if this was successful as well. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, the human girl, as I mentioned, her parts were pretty brief, but she did help Caesar essentially survive. Um... That's her, I believe that was her biggest contribution to the movie. And uh, Caesar was a very strong character. You know, he was filled with revenge throughout the movie. And then he ended up taking pity on the human leader when he was infected. And then the human leader killed himself. But the other humans that... I believe there was, like, one other guy that, like, went in there. And then he, like, saw Caesar. And then, yeah, he, he probably assumed the worst of the situation. Assuming, probably assuming that Caesar killed him. But, um, yeah, it, it definitely is interesting. It's definitely a war. Uh, one thing that the other two movies I, didn't, I think didn't have is, I don't remember if their, like, titles had anything to do with their movies or not. I for, kind of forget. It's been a while. But, um, this is definitely War for the Planet of the Apes, and the Apes did, uh, won, uh, because those are the characters we are following, after all, so that makes sense. Um, and as I said, it's a pretty solid movie. I would give it a 7 out of 10 if you haven't checked it out yet. Then, yeah, and if you checked out the previous films and enjoy them, I would say definitely check it out. So that is my review, and if you enjoyed it, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone... Bye!